I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Avengers Infinity War is by far the most ambitious movie we've ever made. It really is the start of the culmination of, at this point, 19 Marvel Cinematic Universe films. And will feature almost every hero that we've introduced into the universe all in one movie. One of the great joys of reading a Marvel comic is flipping through a Spider-Man comic and suddenly the Hulk appears. That is great fun, and up to that point, it had never been done in a movie before. Which is why, 10 years ago, Sam Jackson walked into Tony Stark's living room and said, you're part of a bigger universe, you just don't know it yet. And now here we are, 10 years later, and everybody knows it. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. We look at all the different aspect ratios, but the pure form, and the biggest form with all of the information, is that IMAX frame. So there are things happening above and below frames that if you're not seeing an IMAX, you're not seeing it. We filmed a cool thing once with Benedict Cumberbatch being Doc Strange and pushing the frame up. What's fun with Infinity War is that's the entire film. Because when you have a storyline this big, and when you have the promise of a culmination of all these different storylines, we wanted to tell it in the biggest format possible. The end is near. The IMAX screen has a different uh, height than a, a traditional movie screen. Those that go to a, an IMAX uh, theater will they'll see a much taller view of the image. So if you're in a traditional theater, it's going to be narrower. If you're in an IMAX theater, it's going to be expanded. There's more information in the frame. There's more storytelling to look at. You see more of the characters. You see more of their powers. You see more of the scale of the film. Uh, so it's just presented on a, on a much grander frame than, uh, than a traditional movie theater. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we we'll use. We have characters in this movie like Thanos who are taller than normal human beings are. When you're framing those kind of characters in the same frame, it can become really challenging with a, with a normal aspect ratio to like hold those height differentials in a single frame. And it forces you into certain angles and certain types of frames and lens choices. And having that extra verticality, like Joe was talking about, gives us a wider range of how we frame and how we shoot these characters, how we present them in the same frame together. When you sit in an IMAX theater, it takes up your entire field of vision. And you begin to forget that there even are borders. And you're in the entire movie, and as a filmmaker, that's what you want the audience to experience. Having more information, having technology at our disposal is just storytelling freedom. And having the enormity of the frame that IMAX delivers just gave Joe and Anth more room to tell their story. It really is the difference when we go through and work on the movie. You can hear an audible gasp in the visual effects room where everybody goes, oh, and you suddenly see the whole thing. It comes down to the difference between watching a frame and experiencing a world. I hope they remember you.